Are you nervous to say this to people to like out it because we hear out here that people can be really vindictive and nasty, especially people who are there for a long time. Hello, my loves. It's Ro. Welcome back to my channel. I probably should have filmed this intro before this mess, but I didn't know what time Adam was calling. The air conditioning is still broken. Oh my God, I'm sweating so bad. I'm having a Peter mom moment. <laughs> Adam sent me this enormous, I mean, enormous box that I could fit inside and play like little kids do when they make it their car, literally. He thought that he was gonna be home in order to do this together for me to open this up and him to watch me open it up together. In fact, I had this box in my car for two weeks. That's how convinced he was that he would be home prior to my birthday, but that's okay. We got amazing news the Friday before my birthday, which was on Tuesday and made it the best birthday ever. So what we did was he called in. God, I hope you could hear him because the phone's kind of far away from the camera, but he called in and it was really fun because he talked me through everything as I unloaded each gift. So if you're interested in seeing everything that he made in the wood shop, what he made for other people, why he made it for other people, then please keep watching. This call is being recorded and it's subject to monitoring. Hang up to decline the call or to accept. Dial five now. Hey. You're beautiful. Hey, hey how are you? Happy birthday again. Thank you. Just a uh, continuation. Explain to me what you have set up so that I can kind of get an idea of what we're looking at here. Sitting on the side of my bed, I have the box in front of me. I already undid the box. I did not look in the box, but I already undid the tape because there was a ton and I didn't want to waste time. And that's where, as far as we've gotten. I haven't even opened it. I see the egg crate through the little hole, but that's all I see. Okay, smart move. Well, let's go ahead. Why don't you go ahead and open it up and as you start taking things out, you can explain to me what you're saying. Okay. Okay, so I see a ton of egg crate. Oh, and now I see, I see a frame, I think. This is a frame? Oh yeah. That's probably what that is. There should be two picture frames right there. I thought that that was uh, what's on top. Oh, yep, there's another frame, the exact same frame. Yep. I made a, a frame for John's part, and he asked me to make another one for my own, so that's why there's two frames in there. Nice. Put those off the shot. Hopefully we will have something to fill those up here in the near uh, future. <laughs> okay, now there's a... Oh my god, it's like a... I think it's a box with handles. <laughs> okay, what does it say on the top? Can you see? Oh, I think it says mom. It says mom. Okay, well, we know who that one's for. <laughs> okay, so you don't want me to unwrap them, right? Just put them aside? Yeah, put that one off to the side. Okay. Oh my god, these are so nice. It's heavy. Okay, and then another box, a little smaller. It has like a handle on top and on the sides. Okay, I want you to open this one second. Second, okay. Oh, so you know what? No, let's do this one first. Do this one first? Okay. Because this is, this is actually the first jewelry box that I ever made. Let's call it from a federal prison. The first jewelry box you ever made? Yep. Okay. Oh, my scissor. I'm trying to do this fast because I know we're short on time. You wrapped this very well. Okay, we're in. Okay, you want me to open the box? Yeah, open it up. Okay. Ooh, oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> the detail in here is so beautiful. Initially, when I was doing this, I didn't have a plan for it because I did not think that I would ever be able to send it out. So this was something that over time, I didn't know what I was going to do with it. When I knew that I could put it in here and send it out, I wanted to make sure that you had the first thing that I ever made here and was able to get out. So this is number one. That was my first attempt. And uh, put it this way, this is kind of to hold you over until you get the other part of your gift. There's something else that I'm not gonna be able to give you today, but you will get it shortly. Okay. My God. You can put that one off to the side. Okay. Now, there's something else in this big box, so I want you to keep going through it because this other thing that I made was designed entirely with you solely in mind from the start from every piece of it. Okay. There's a lot of egg crate. Let me dig through it. Hold on. Oh, wait. There's two more things. 
Oh, Dad. We know who that one's for. Yeah. Okay, let me put that aside. Okay. And then, beautiful. Oh. You want me to open this one? Absolutely. Okay. Right. I can hear. You can hear me fighting the. Yeah. You did a good job. Cracking them up. Okay. We're in. You want it open? Yeah. Oh my god. This. Oh my god. These are so. Oh my god. This is so nice. Oh! Oh wait! I found more! <laughs> yep. Oh, that's cool! I'm looking at the mug. Okay, well, and you see that it never got finished. And unfortunately, with the virus hitting, they shut down ceramic and they turned it into a staging area. So, so we can get in there for the foreseeable future. So I want to make sure that you at least got an opportunity to see, to see my attempt. I put so much time into that mug and the carving out those letters. You know what? It looks great. That it looks just like his logo. Which one are you looking at? Hope for prisoners. Oh no, that's the wrong one. Oh, where's the other one? It's in there somewhere. Oh man. Maybe it's in the. Oh no. No, that's okay. I don't know where it is. It's probably in one of the boxes for your parents or something. <laughs> your mug was looking in that box. That's okay. I, I'm looking at I Love You. Like, there's so much detail on this. Hold on, I have to show the camera. This is so beautiful. Those were uh, the beautiful and uh, I Love You on the inside. I did those freehand with a louder. Probably the most nerve-wracking part. Because at that point, if I messed up, like, that was it. It was all over. You know, these are the first things that I have made in 20-plus years in prison. And uh, I thought I was going to walk out the door with these and be able to, you know, give you this in person. That was the idea. And, and do so in advance of your birthday. But since I'm not quite there yet, I'm glad that we had a chance to might be belated. Me too, and I'm just in awe of how amazing this stuff is and how talented you are. And your mom told me a long time ago about how you were a talented carpenter and how you made a crib for somebody when they couldn't afford a crib or something when you were in New Jersey State. And she raves about how good you are, but obviously I always get to hear everything about all of your talents, but I never get to see it. And I'm so excited to not only see this now, but to be able to see all of it in person in hopefully the very near future. And I've always said that before, but it's never felt so real. Definitely happening. It's happening? It's happening. <laughs> I just wish that I could have been there for your birthday and to give you this in person. Last one apart ever. Definitely. Promise. You know, I know we have a couple more minutes. I think our video from the day when I talked about when we got the news is up to like 13,000 views almost. So is there anything you want to say to the people listening who most likely saw that video? You know, you told me there was a ton of, just an outpouring of support for us and you know, it's been the same thing on this end. It's just, honestly, it's been a little overwhelming uh, to have so many people, you know, express their support for us and, and, and well wishes. And, you know, I'm excited for uh, for us to be able to share, you know, the next, uh, next chapter of our story with everybody. Looking forward to doing a whole lot more videos where I can actually be there with you in person. I can't wait. <laughs> so many people have said the same thing. You got a lot of fans. It's not me, it's you. Because I've never had a video that had that many views in two days. <laughs> it's funny. My friend Sarah asked me, she said, are you nervous to say this to people to like out it? Because, you know, we hear out here that people can be really vindictive and nasty, especially people who are there for a long time. And I said, I don't think Adam has to deal with that because of his reputation and his rapport and the way he lives his life. I've been so fortunate. It's all been extremely positive. And like you said, part of that, much of that is a result of what I do in here. You know, I've spent years helping other guys uh, get ready to go home or, or try and win relief and, you know, help them improve their, their family situation. So, you know, for this to finally happen for me, I think, you know, for a lot of people, it seemed like a long time coming. And, and they were genuinely 
happy. The people who uh, I felt it the most from were other lifers. Felt it the most in what sense? Like overwhelming emotion, the joy, the love that I felt from those guys. Like <laughs> one of the guys here on the block when I told him, uh, he was actually, he was sitting down watching TV and he leaped up and just gave me the biggest hug and it was so genuine. He's <laughs> so awkward. No, not at all. And I, I, not in the least. Like, that's what I mean. Like, it was so genuine. And I'm always going to remember that. Hmm. And there's, there's been quite a few, you know. Unfortunately, those of us that have that kind of sense, you know, we have a different perspective. Yeah. With it comes a different appreciation. Yeah. For so many things. And when one of us gets some relief, you know, all of us uh, share that. I think it's the same here because I was telling some of the girls that I felt like, especially the 924C girls, that I felt like a little survivor guilt. And they were like, you better get rid of that right now. You better let that go. If one of us gets something, we all get it. And we're all celebrating together. And I kind of needed to hear that. It was such a relief. Because, you know, once you're home, it's not like we're stopping. It's just getting beginning. Well, that's the message to everybody else. You know, as soon as I get out the door, you know, that's our turn to advocate for others. We're going to make sure that there's plenty of others following and not that. Yeah. Yep. Without a doubt. Well, I love you. I know we're about to get cut off. Happy birthday. Thank you. Best one so far. Uh, everyone's going to be better and better. I think so too. Oh, he is so amazing. That was so fun to make. I saw another YouTuber do this and I thought it was the cutest thing in the world. If you made it to the end of this video, comment pink fan in the comments below and let's keep everybody wondering what the hell we're all talking about. So comment the words pink fan and you are my super fans. If you are new here and you have no idea what I'm talking about with him getting an early release, 213 year sentence click that video right there for the news we got last weekend and if you have no idea even why he was given the 213 year sentence click that video there if you don't want to have fanning myself it's because the air conditioning is broken and this is the hottest room in the house and if you're not already subscribed let's do it click that little circle there or the red box below i love you guys and i'll see you in the next one